Hello my fashion friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Ose Prather here, your style professor, teaching you how to dress your life successful. So for today's video, I have a Ross haul for you guys. I went shopping at Ross, I wanted to see what they had that was new and fresh for this new upcoming spring and summer season. I got quite a bit of clothing, so I'm probably gonna split this haul into two parts. This is going to be part one and then stay tuned in the next couple of days for part two. I don't want this video to be too long, so uh, let's just get started. Okay, so for this haul, I have mostly tops and skirts. I've got a few bags and a couple shoes. I didn't get any bottoms or anything because I have enough jeans and I didn't really see anything that I liked anyway. And, you know, they didn't really have any skirts I liked either. So mainly it's just tops, some dresses, and some bags, and some shoes. So here is the first top here. It's just a really nice lacy blush colored top. I really like it because of the lace detail. I think it's really nice and fresh, perfect for this spring and summertime. I absolutely adore the color. I think it looks great on my skin tone. I really like the fact that it's cropped as well, so it would be perfect for my high-waisted pants like I have on right now. It has a really high neckline, which I really like, and then it's just sleeveless. It's really soft, and this is in a size medium. I think for the most part, all the tops I got are mediums. If it's a large, I'll tell you guys otherwise, but for the most part, everything is like a medium. But anyway, so here is the first top, and I really like it. All right, so with this haul, I really try to step outside my comfort zone and not pick pieces that I would normally gravitate towards. You guys know me by now. I have my signature style, my go-to pieces, but I really wanted to step outside the box, outside of my comfort zone. I always tell you guys to take risks and chances in fashion as well, so I need to practice what I preach. And so here is a shirt that is outside my comfort zone. I know it's just white, but still, I normally would not gravitate towards like these frilly details right here. But I do like the kind of whimsical look of it. It's really on trend for this year. And so I do like it. It's really flirty, flowy, girly, feminine, like ethereal, you know. So I just wanted to try it out. I think it would be great with a pencil skirt tucked in. I think it looks uh, fine with this um with these jeans as well so i mean it's white you can do so much with it but i really wanted to try something different step outside my comfort zone a little bit and just go with something a little bit more trendy that i normally would gravitate towards you can even just toss a blazer over it and it will be great for casual settings or even for work with some slacks or something so a very versatile shirt i really like it and um definitely going to add this to my collection and just kind of play with it a little bit more so yeah all right, so here is the next shirt. Now, this shirt is definitely outside of my comfort zone because of, of course, these sleeves right here. It is very frilly and billowy and in your face. And although there is a lot going on with the sleeves, the fact that the shirt is white, I think that's what is making it acceptable to me because white is a very soft color. It's um, a non-intimidating color. And so although it has these big sleeves because it's white I think it's really wearable so I really like it and then it has a nice little tie detail here and of course um, the frilly shoulders I actually really do like it I mean it's different but it's definitely something that I could wear and I can just see myself wearing it with like this exact very outfit so that was pretty cool it's got a nice deep V but not too deep so it's really nice and conservative still and it's just a really cool top you know what I mean like it's just it's different but I still really like it. Okay, next we have a similar top. It's white as well, and it does have the little shoulder frilly details here. Not as pronounced as the previous shirt, obviously, but it is the same concept with the shoulders. So I like it. It's really girly and flirty and fun. And then it has this kind of like crisscross detail here. Now, if y'all know me, like I think y'all know me, and I know y'all know me because we've been hanging out for a while. <laughs> y'all know that I don't do this like lace up detail here. But the reason why I chose this and or I chose this was because it's kind of more crisscross than lacy. Lace up would be like you would have little holes and then you would kind of weave the pieces through the holes. But with this one, it just kind of it just kind of crisscrosses, you know what I mean? So that's why I was like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and get this shirt. But um it's really cute though. It has like some arrows kind of like shooting arrows and it's perfect for work and casual. Um so you know, it's just a really fun, light shirt. This is so cute. I would wear this with some shorts, like on the weekend. I think this will look really cute with some shorts as well. 
Um, so I just really like the light and airy feel that this shirt is giving me. And this is in a size medium, and um, I like it a lot. Okay, so here is the next shirt. It's really fun and cool. It's just a sleeveless shirt, a button down. But the reason why I got this one, because it's not the traditional button down, it, it does have some edge to it. It has like this little tie detail here that you wrap around. I wrapped it around twice and then I tied it in a bow right here. And then of course the back has a really nice long tail train. It's really nice and flowy. It's fun, it's great for the summertime, and it's very different, but I liked the way it looks. I just think it looks really cute and different, and it's like a nice little spin on the traditional button-down, and it's so playful, it's unique. I don't have anything like this in my current closet, so I think this is a beautiful shirt. Um, thank goodness I was really trying to step outside the box for this video because the normal me would look at this and just skip right past it so I was like let me give it a chance so I think it's a great shirt and I will definitely get a lot of wears out of this shirt and I think it's not even as trendy as one would think I think you can definitely wear this shirt for years to come and you would still look stylish so this is actually one of my favorites so far Okay, so here is the next shirt. It's just a white tee with Mickey Mouse on it. I have quite a few Mickey Mouse t-shirts. I just love Mickey Mouse. And uh, so it's just a plain white t-shirt. Nothing too fancy about it. This shirt was like $9. I realize that I haven't really been telling you guys the prices, but I can tell you guys right now that nothing has been over $15 yet. So um, nothing has been over $15. So um, y'all know Ross is very affordable. So this is just a basic shirt that you can wear during the summertime and just throw this on with some jeans. Simply like an outfit like this would work. Um, you can maybe even tie it for a more of a modern look. But uh, this is just one of those shirts where you just throw it on and you're out the door. You can even kind of do the half tuck thing, tuck it in for more of a casual vibe, just throw it on, hop out the door. Uh, but I probably would just wear it like this. Um, it's just a really cute top, nothing special about it, just Mickey Mouse, you know. So, just another addition here. Yeah, I like this one. Okay, next we have this red shirt. This red shirt is actually the exact same shirt as the other white one with the arrows that I showed you. But this one is obviously red and it has floral details instead. I really like the vibrant red in this shirt. I think it's very loud and it's very um, in your face but in a good way. I love that bright vibrant red color. It's just a beautiful saturated red. I really, really like it. And it's the exact same shirt like I said with the crisscross detail here and with the frilly sleeves. So it's pretty much the same shirt. I would definitely wear this with like a blazer or something. Even with like a skirt or some jeans. I mean, there's just so much you could do with this. And once again, I love the vibrant, saturated red on this shirt. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. And I cannot wait to wear this during the spring and summertime. I mean, I would probably tuck it in to the high-waisted jeans or something. But uh, it's just a beautiful shirt. I love the color. I think it looks great on my skin tone. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful shirt. All right, so here is the next blouse. It's just a long sleeve black blouse. This blouse is kind of sheer. If I come closer, you can kind of see my bra through it. So you may want to wear a cami underneath. But for me, I would probably just wear it like this because I really like the way that looks. It's a really nice high neck, so I think it's still conservative, even though it is slightly sheer. And what's really cool about this is the sleeves. I really like the kind of like scrunched up detail here that, that the sleeves have. I think that's really cute. I would probably go ahead and like tuck it in to some high-waisted jeans or high-waisted skirt or something so like to look something like this I think this is a really cute look here as well throw on some heels and you'd be good to go throw on some jewelry so I really like this look here it's a really cute top okay so yeah this is actually one of my favorite pieces as well <laughs> I'm liking everything I've gotten so far so I really like it and I think stepping outside my comfort zone is working for me you guys so um yeah let's continue okay then I got this bag right here I absolutely love this bag when I saw this at Ross I was like wow I can't believe that no one has scooped it up or maybe some people have scooped it up because this was the only one that I saw there so perhaps this was the last one but in any case I really loved it I thought it was so beautiful I really like the off-white color as you can see it's just a little different from the shirt that I'm wearing 
this is more of kind of like an off-white ecru maybe like eggshell a little darker than eggshell color white it's absolutely gorgeous i really like the gold hardware on it it just has a strap right here and then it has another strap if you want to wear it cross body or just across your shoulders but i really 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 like this bag um, you can detach the cross body parts so I probably will detach that but anyways I absolutely love this black bag it just has an open top flap like this and on the inside it's just like a gaping hole right here so this bag was $18 $17.99 I was quite shocked when I saw the price I was expecting it to be at least like $25 or something or even more than that because it just looks really expensive to me it just has that really expensive look and I really really like it so I was shocked when I saw that it was $18 and I scooped it up real quick so that no one else could grab it but um, I think the reason why it's only $18 is because it has a lot of like raw finishes to it. Like the edge coating and like the edges and everything is very raw. And then on the inside as well, the inside part of the leather is really raw on the inside as well. So it kind of has, I mean, it's purposefully unfinished with the raw um, interior. But I still like it though. I do definitely still think it's worth the price. On the bottom it has some feet in case you wanted to put it on the ground or something but overall for $18 I mean <laughs> you can't go wrong for $18 so I really like it and if anything were to happen to it I mean it was only $18 so I'm not gonna you know cry any crocodile tears or anything but in any case I really like this bag I'm definitely gonna be rocking it this spring and summer and even on to winter fall I mean as long as this bag lasts I will wear it so it's so cute and I am definitely going to rock the mess out of this bag so love it love it okay next we have this tomato red dress this dress is so fun it's so comfortable very lightweight and cool to the touch it's just like one piece of material there's no lining in it or anything it's just really thin it's not you know like the best quality ever but you know it gets the job done for just something really light and fresh and airy I really like the tomato red color really nice bright vibrant and then the sleeves okay so the sleeves are definitely not something that I would normally gravitate towards but once again I wanted to try something different and I really actually like it I like the um kind of like lacy frilly detail here I thought that was kind of cute and then the spaghetti straps here as well reason why I kind of got this dress was because of the spaghetti strap detail here because I mean this off the shoulder look can be quite cumbersome when you're like moving around and everything but for the fact that it has this here to kind of hold it up a little bit so that's why I was like okay I'm gonna try it but um it's you know it's kind of short but I think it's just barely making the cut for it to be short enough to where I could you know still wear it and preserve my modesty you know but um, even though the neckline is kind of exposed and the dress is kind of short, I still think there is enough coverage to where it looks classy, sexy, and uh, I can definitely, you know, look good wearing this outfit. So, um, and one thing, believe it or not, I did not try any of these clothes on in the store when I went shopping at Ross. I just went down the aisles, pulled what I wanted, put it in my cart, and then I left. Well, I paid, obviously. And then I left. I didn't try any of these on. So the ones that don't end up working out, I'm obviously going to take back. But so far, they've all worked out pretty nicely. So, okay. And then I also got some nude strappy sandals as well. This is kind of a taupey color. It's a bit of a darker nude, but I really like it. I think it's great with this dress and it works for the spring and summertime. Um, yeah. So if I was going to like lunch with my husband or brunch with my girls, I mean, I think this is a really cute uh shoe that works really well with this dress so nothing special about it just a strappy sandal all right next is this chambray t-shirt dress it's a very 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 soft and comfortable and it kind of has a tie-dye feel to it as well so it's not just the traditional chambray it kind of has a tie-dye feel if you can see that it has kind of like um a pocket that's kind of imprinted but it's not a pocket it's just that like imprint of a pocket that used to be there and then you can just roll up the sleeves here button down now this is a nice dress and I think it's a conservative length 
it's got good length in the front and it's got good length in the back the only thing that's making me not care too much for this dress is this part right here so this part right here scoops up kind of high so i mean i don't know so this is kind of like an iffy an iffy one for me because although it is conservative in the front and back once you turn over to the side, that cut, that kind of scoop hemline cut is kind of high for me. So, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, it's right there. That's pretty high. So, I mean, I don't know about this dress. This dress is going to go in the maybe pile. I may return it because, just because of that simple detail right there. If it didn't have that, I would be down for this shirt. It's super duper comfortable and it's lightweight and you can do so much with it but even if i didn't want to wear it as a t-shirt dress um i don't have anything on underneath so i can't open it up for you but you can still wear this as kind of a duster or wear this over some jeans like some black jeans or something uh like some black skinny jeans with a nice white top and then throw this over it kind of a duster i think that would be really cool of a look so i think if i utilize it in that way I may be more apt to keeping it, but if I don't use it that way, then I may return it. So I don't know, I'm on the fence with this one. Let me know, do y'all like this one? Do you think I should keep it? Should I return it? I mean, I can do so many things with it besides wearing it as the intended purpose of a dress, but it's a dress, so I wanna be able to wear it as a dress. But um, I don't know, I'm on the fence with this one, so I would appreciate y'all's opinion if I should keep this one or not, so let me know. Okay, so here is another dress. I forgot to tell you guys, the denim dress that I just showed you, that was in a size large. This is also in a size large. I could fit, I could probably fit into a medium, but I wanted it to be a little bit, not necessarily oversized, but I wanted it to have kind of a looser fit. I guess that means oversized, but I wanted to have kind of an oversized feel because I really want to be free and flowy and comfortable. So same reason why I got this in a large as well. I just noticed that this dress was supposed to come with, um, it has like a belt loop here for a belt, but I don't have the belt anywhere in my bags. So I guess the belt fell off in the store somewhere. But in any case, for this dress, I probably wouldn't even wear the belt with it. I probably would just wear it just like this and walk out the door. It is really loose and flowy. And normally I'm not a fan of like this silhouette on me. I feel like it doesn't really do my curves justice. I think I'll probably keep it even though I don't have the belt because I like the loose, like the looseness of this dress. So I really like it, it's cute. It's a great color and um, I think it looks great. Okay, so I'm not sure if I mentioned, but everything from this haul I got from the junior section. Uh, I think the junior section has a lot of age appropriate clothing. I mean, you saw the clothes I picked out. Someone my age can definitely look really good in them. Um, so I prefer to shop in the junior section. And what's really cool about that is the junior section also goes up to 3x I believe and so um, if some of you guys are wondering about well they don't have something to fit me it goes up to 3x so I think you can definitely find something there that you like I don't normally like going to the ladies section or the women's section of Ross because I feel like a lot of the stuff um, doesn't fit me that well the way my body is shaped the things in the junior section have more of a modern cut to them versus a lot of the things in the women's and ladies section so that's why i prefer to go to the junior section because i can still find things that i can wear and it has more of a modern cut to it as well um and so a lot of you guys were asking me well, where do you get all these things well it's in the junior section so go check it out see if there's anything that you like and then um and a lot of you guys also maybe don't have a ross near you or maybe your ross it doesn't have things like this i'm gonna try to link similar items as much as i can find in the description box so definitely check it out see if there's something that um is similar that you like um just check for that in the description box but Okay, so you guys, we are saving the worst for last. Normally you save the best for last, but this dress right here, look at this, you guys. Look at this. I look like someone's grandma. <laughs> you know, like this dress is not cute, you guys. But 
I think it would be cute. It's just that I got the wrong size. This is in a size large, so it's actually swallowing me. Like, look. Look at that. <laughs> this dress is swallowing me. So, uh, it's a large. It's definitely the wrong size. I think I could probably have gotten away with a medium, even a small. Um, it has potential, but I think it's just because I got the wrong size. That's why it's not really doing me justice. And if the slit was like this, I could get down with this. Like, I could get down with a slit being like this. I think if I had the right size, it would have that effect. But because it's too big, you know, it doesn't really have much of a slit. But if it was a small or medium, I think the slit would be a little bit more prominent. So I could get down with it like this but not currently the way it is now so but that's my fault though not the dress itself it's my fault i don't have the right size but yeah so this one is definitely going to have to go definitely not for me i should definitely return it i am going to return it because it does not suit me maybe i'll see if they have a smaller size and go with that but as it is now it definitely does not work for me so it's going back Aren't you guys so proud of me? I stepped outside of my comfort zone. I got a lot of clothes that I normally would not gravitate towards. So I'm really happy about that. I'm pretty satisfied with everything I got. I definitely can get a lot of wear out of them for spring and summer. And I'm really excited to wear those pieces. But um, don't forget to stay tuned for part two. This was just part one. I will have part two up in the next couple of days. So stay tuned for that. If you found that you enjoyed this video though, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button. Come on and join my fashion family. I do a lot of fashion and styling videos on this channel. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Also, don't forget to click that notification bell so that you are notified every single time I upload a brand new video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, please come back in a timely fashion.